hard to beat. He'll go on and win it well. Three lengths to Triple Dealer. Third money time flashing up there was Kotiko from last. All Noble rattled home well. Ace Man Corpus Delect. I welcome Duke then further back behind those Carnival. Then knocking up somehow due together with Positive Star and Gypsy Falu was absolute. Well, the Arkaba kid was the horse there in the green and blue that angled for that run when the horse in yellow, uh, Corvus Delecti, was hanging on the turn. That's John Letts uh, riding it. But uh, young John O'Connor has got the Arkaba kid in front, and uh, it's drawn clear from Triple Dealer and Money Time. And over near the fence, just missing the place, is number one, Katiko, in those white colours with the maroon uh, checks. It's the one that stood there in the barrier uh, and missed the kiss kick about five or six lengths. I don't think there's much doubt at all. Had it gone away, Katiko, it would have won. But uh, it's missed the place running about fifth back on the rails. The Akabar kid scoring quite comfortably about two and a half lengths over uh, triple dealer. Money time looks as though it may just get third on the wire. Uh, two, seven and six. The Akabar kid was showing about 3.05 and $1.05. Project well behaved. Raffini, it's a ripper. Bill Abe Master, zip off over the downs. All set. Started not quite happy with them at the moment. They're showing some concern for one runner drawn towards the centre of the line. Might be Lord Jester, is it? Luck Jay is, uh, is in there as well. Right, he looks as though he's happy now. Here he is, he's coming across. Made Fusilier Raffiti. May Lee stands up well. The attendants just clearing the stores. Now they're set. Racing now. Main Fusilier began quickly. Silver Style missed the start, missed it badly. Two or three lengths and sheer force was slow to get going. May Lee actually got the best of it, landed in front. Copper Flyer Bolzano showing pace. So is Fairy Planet and Zip Off going quickly on the outside, running up into fourth position. Main Fusilier is steady to be fifth on the rails and then over the downs, Ballet Master, it's a ripper. Luck Jays is next on the outside, Project Midfield on the rails. A length and a half to Gold Signet, followed on the inside by Raffini. It's lunchtime, caught very wide, and then Silver Style, Lord Jester, Smokey's Claude, Sheer Forces last. 800 metres left to go. May Lee just in front of Over the Downs as they race down the side. Two lengths away, third Copper Flyer, followed by Zip Off Bolzano and then Ferry Planet Ballet Master starting a run. Main Fusilier on the inside, then It's a Ripper. Project now starting to pick up ground, followed by Luck Jays, who's a bit wide. Gold Signet, Lord Jester, then Raffini. It's lunchtime well back with Silver Style and then Smokey's Claude and Sheer Force. Around the home turn, 400 metres left to go. Over the Downs loomed up on the outside to hit the front, but is tackled immediately by Copper Flyer. Main Fusilier running on strongly, so is Zip Off. Bolzano right down the outside. Project is going for a run in the middle. It's a ripper battling on fairly well, and then Fairy Planet. Pl uh, plenty of chances with 100 metres to go. Copper Flyer's just in front. Project is flying home at the end. Main Fusilier the outside. Copper Flyer just in front. They hit the line. Yes, he's won it. Copper Flyer first. Copper Flyer beat Project. Main Fusilier in a photo for third. It's lunchtime. Zip Off handy as well. Then Raffini, Fairy Planet, Bolzano, Lord Jester, Luck Jays. It's a ripper, Gold Signet. Silver Star was well back in the field over the Downs, Sheer Force, May Lee, and Ballet Master won at the, the uh, last home. Number five, and the light flashing on top of the starting gates as they get set to jump up there. Footer came out just a little awkwardly, didn't lose any great leeway though. Brass band out well. So too Papa's favourite and Zephyr Tai looking for the lead and will get it with ease. And down to the 200 metres, Zephyr Tai kicks out three lengths on battle action going up to second. Papa's favourite third and the rider puts the brakes on on Zephyr Tai, the leader. Marfooter goes back on the fence to fourth, a length further back. Spin Ash out three and four deep and pulling hard from Don Bosco, Brass Band, Linga Longa, Star Winnie. And last is Trick Gold, only about eight lengths from Zephyr Zephyr Tai. Out of the straight they race and Zephyr Tai lopes along about three quarters of a length on battle action. Third position, one and a half lengths away as Ma Footer settling nicely on the inside of Papa's favourite reefing for rain. A length and a quarter then to Spin Ash wide, Don Bosco the middle, Brass Band the fence after one to Linga Longa Court just a shade deep. Second last is Trick Gold and one of the real roughies star when he whips them in. Dittman decides that the pace didn't suit him on battle action and allows the grey to slide to the lead of the second corner at the 15.50 and battle action opens up a gap of two and a half lengths on Zephyr Tithe. Two thirds Papa's favourite. About three quarters on the rails next, Mar Footer, as they race into the back straight.
lightweight Spinash still caught off the track from Don Bosco and Brass Band. Then comes Linger Longer, Trick Gold, second last, and Absolute is Star Winnie. No change as they run down by the 1,200 metres. And the leader is Battle Action, and this afternoon Battle Action is trying to notch up the hat trick. He leads by a length and a half Zephyr tie. Two third Papa's favourite and knows the inside Mar footer. Midfield next is Don Bosco on the inside of him about a neck back brass band Spinash yielding ground and then comes Linger Longer Trick Gold at Absolute still being star winning. So on this pattern they race down the side and Zephyr ties rider on a third and Noel Barker is starting to put a little pressure to Dittman on battle action and to the 800 battle action a half length on Zephyr tie a length away third Papa's favourite whipping up three deep Don Bosco. Marfoot awaiting for the run a length further back Linger Longer then comes Brass Band and Spinash from Trick Gold and last of all, as the field begins to run around the corner, Star Winnie. At the 500, Battle Action just leads Zephyr Tye. Three deep, Papa's favourite. Four wide as Don Bosco. Marfutter looking for the gap between them and Linger Longer trying to get through the same opening. And Marfutter got shunted back as Linger Longer burst through. And they come to the 200 and Linger Longer strode clear of Battle Action. Followed then by Zephyr Tye, Marfutter became unbalanced. And at the head of the others, Trick Gold and Don Bosco, but it's all Linger Longer here. And Compton works hard. Linger Longer races away from Brass Band and Trick Gold. And it's Linger Longer's Fury Ford McKell Cup. Linger Longer's beaten Brass Band and Trick Gold. Then Battle Action, Marfoot, Don Bosco, Zephyr Tye, Papa's favourite star winning at Absolute was Spinash. Uh, Cliff Barlow trained the uh, previous winner here. Uh, before we go and talk to Cliff, we'll have a look at race number four. The result with the Arkabar Kid number two winning over there in Adelaide. 3.05 and $1.05. Seven triple deal and 90 cents and six money time a dollar 55 for 276. The Quinella eight dollars 85 and the trifecta 176 dollars 30 for 276 over in Adelaide. Now in Brisbane on race four, Copper Flyer up there, Al Hill the winner number six, seven dollars 80 and 230. A Braid Project 95 and 10 main Fusilier. $2.45 and the Quinella an even 30 dollars for 6810 the numbers on race number four. Here's Ron well, Paps. Circondotti air is sure to get back. Needing longer. Lights on. And they're racing. Count winded on the inside away quickly from Belcunda. A little slow to begin. Circondotti air and Moss Land and also Grey Kildare. But it's now Count Winyard driving through to be the clear leader. A length and a quarter in advance of Belcunda who'll get the run of the race outside of Light Decision. Followed just in behind them by Like a Dancer. Straw's Luck was held up behind it and over on the outside Alsford. The rider's lost his cloth cap further back to Moss Land motoring into it. Then a couple of lengths Grey Kildare as Straw's Luck drops back to third last. Second last Grey Kildare and last of all Circondotti air before the turn and Bell Cunder within a length of Count Winyard. Only a length away then came Light Decision who looks to be travelling fairly well. Mossland has made up good ground from back in the field early and then came Like a Dancer. Alsford's not travelling that well at the moment. He's out wide and under some pressure followed by Straw's Luck working through the pack. Then further back Grey Kildare and Circondotier but Bell Cunder's gone for home at the top of the straight. Quickly dispensed with Count Winyard. Mossland and Light Decision are trying to go with him and further out in the track is Alsford but it's Bell Cunder clear at the 200 metre mark. Right down the outside of the track. Mossland is inch by inch picking him up and then Alsford and Light Decision Bell Cunder keeps going. Mossland is trying ever so hard but Bell Cunder hands and heels for Stocker. Oh he's a pretty rider at his best and Bell Cunder he's down on the line wins it a length and a half to Mossland Light Decision. Alsford never travelled like a winner at any stage. Grey Kildare just beat him home. Then came Straws Luck, Circon Dotty Air Count Winyard and Like a Dancer dropped out to be last. Well Ron Papps summed it all up in, uh, in what he said as they reached the line. John Stocker there and uh, Bell Bell, uh, Bell Cunder and the, the white uh, pink callus and uh, always against the rail uh, up the home straight after travelling on the outside of the leader. He's a great saver in his races. Stocker, he uh, never uses much and uh, there he is, hands and heels. Magnificent balance by this rider. And Bell Cunder scores its seventh win from 28 starts over Mossland. Light decision about two lengths away through. And one, five, four. Pretty well clear cut on the Sunday Coronation Handicap race number five. Bell Cunder. If he did back it, it's showing $1.40 and 70, uh, 95 for second, and for third, $1.20, 154 on the fifth event from South Australia. This is the big one up in uh, Brisbane, the Castlemaine Cup. Astralin is the uh, favourite. Greg Hall riding number one. Now, a great field. Simon and Patchley, the inside began quickly. Astralin began okay, but he's drifting back. Cooper's goal showing speed with Rush Cutter. 
Al Dwayne from out wide is going fast with Mr. Merrymaker, Heroic Blaze, and Gadachi going up towards that leading bunch. Al Dwayne easing just out of that battle for the early speed. He's dropped back to fifth on the inside of Ballyman's Boy, then Rush Cutter toyed on the outside. Sovereign Patch next, Rock Show's getting back in the field. Followed then by Zamboanger on the outside of Tide Time and then Claim the Quest. Astral in second last and most impressive is last. Heading up towards the 1600, the leader wants to pull a little bit. Gadachi leads by a length and a half. Cuba's gold second, a similar break to Mr. Merrymaker, who's settled well third. Two lengths further back, Heroic Blaze, and then El Dwayne on the outside of Rush Cutter. Ballyman's Boyd next, racing on the outside of Toyd, followed by Zamboanga, and then Sovereign Patch, Tide Time Rock Show. A break of two lengths to Astralin, and then Claim the Quest, and most impressive is last. Heading up towards the 1200 now, and the leader, Gadachi. He's a length and a half in front of Cuba's Gold. Two lengths away in third spot, Mr. Merrymaker, followed by Heroic Blaze, and then El Dwayne, who's picking up ground quickly. He's now moved to fourth, followed by Rush Cutter, and then Ballyman's Boy, Toyd. Zamboanga next on the outside of Sovereign Patch, a break of three lengths to most impressive, who's starting a burst now. He's dashing up quickly on the outside of Rock Show, Tide Time. Well back is Claim the Quest and Astral in at the rear. Just inside the thousand and the leader, Gadachi, three quarters of a length in front of Cuba's Gold, who popped off the rails. A length and a half away, third, Mr. Merrymaker and Al Dwayne as a neck back fourth on the outside. Then a heroic blaze, followed by Ballyman's Boy and Rush Cutter going forward, Zamboanga on the outside of Toyd. Then most impressive, Sovereign Patch, Claim the Quest, Rock Show. Then Tide Time and Astral in last of all. Around the home turn, 450 metres out, Cuba's goal loomed up quickly on the outside of Gadachi to go to the front. It's Cuba's goal almost the length in front of Gadachi. Mr. Merrymaker running on fairly well, then El Dwayne. Ballyman's boy is coming into it with a strong run on the outside, then Heroic Blaze and Rush Cutter's going for a run in the middle. Cuba's goal still the leader, 250 metres out, but Ballyman's boy has loomed up on the outside to hit the front. Ballyman's boy just in front of Cuba's goal, now Rush Cutter coming through, and Sovereign Patch from the clouds on the outside, Rush Cutter Cutter takes the lead. It's Rush Cutter just in front of Cuba's Gold. Toyd flying late. They hit it. Rush Cutter. Rush Cutter has won it from Cuba's Gold. Toyd or Sovereign Patch. Ballyman's Boy was right there with them. Then Rock Show, Heroic Blaze, and Astral in who flew. Next in Zamboanga, most impressive. Followed by Tide Time, Mr. Merrymaker, El Dwayne, Claim the Quest, and Gadachi, last of all. Number seven. Peter Cook on uh, Rush Cutter getting to the front here. Uh, hands and heels from Cook. On the outside, Cuba's Gold. Uh, the chestnut, you'll see, get clear and quickly go out after uh, this eventual winner, Rush Cutter. Rush Cutter number seven gets to the front. It's Cuba Gold, Cuba's Gold, who starts to finish quickly with Sovereign Patch. And uh, they go to the line, and it's got there, Rush Cutter number seven. Uh, getting up to get second is number five. Yes, five will get up and get second, and that's Toy looking at the print there. And it's pretty tight between Sovereign Patch, this one on the outside, and the green and white hoops. And over on the fence, Cooper's Gold. It's Miss Second, I'd say, Cooper's Gold, and Toyd will probably get second. But Rush Cutter has one, number seven, P. Cook. Probably number five to get second, Toyd the centre, and not much between on the rail, Cooper's Gold, and the horse white out, number 14, Sovereign Patch. Astral not far behind them, a couple of lengths off, and he was second last when they turned for home in the Castlemaine 4X Gold Cup up there at Eagle Farm. Checking some results for you, Sydney, 5-10-4, race five, Linga Longa, 4-90, 1-15. 10 brass band 210, 4 trick gold a dollar, Quinella 24.45 and the trifecta $236.30, 5104. And there's Adelaide, Belcunda number one, John Stocker 140 and 70, number five Mossland 95, 4 light decision a dollar 20, Quinella 655 and the trifecta 8770 for 154 on the fifth from Adelaide. Runners going up to the stalls, they're uh, in the stalls and just about ready, $1.75 meticulous 220 for Southport Schumann Shoe at 265 and 250 for number five so different they're ready to go race six at Rose Hill Ian Crump they're racing and the heavily back Southport jumped out like a rocket and leads a length settling down on the southern blaze meticulous going up to third and wider as dark disguise a length into a uh, pretty wide Schumann Shoe followed by so different in the middle and my maid zeroes back on the fence and the roughy Captain Melody whips them in at the end of 400 and Dark Disguise strode to the front a length and a half clear now. Second is Meticulous. Third on the rails, Southern Blaze. A length and three quarters, South Portese. Back to fourth inside, Shoe Man Shoe. One then to My Mate Zero on the inside is so different and a couple of lengths to Captain Melody. A great alteration at the 600. Dark Disguise shows the way of that. A half length on Meticulous. Two away, third is Southern Blaze on the inside of Shoe Man Shoe. And one to South Port, so different. Two My Mate Zero. And Captain Melody's last around the bend. And Meticulous joins Dark Disguise. 
Fresh Human Shoe comes at the pair of them, and behind them, Southern Blaze, and then Southport, and so different. 300 to go, Meticulous and Dark Disguise having a great battle. A length on Southern Blaze, followed by Southport, now putting his best foot forward. He's coming quickly, Southport. Southport raced up to head Meticulous and Dark Disguise, and Southport is driving away now. And Southport to the line, and wins it by just on a length, the Dark Disguise and Meticulous. Then Southern Blaze, Shoe Man Shoe, My Made Zero, so different, and last and tailed off with Captain Melody. Well, that's the apprentice M. Zarb again on Southport there in the grey purple seams and the white cap quickly uh, getting up to collar them on the outside. Coming to the centre of the screen now and gathering in meticulous in the Sangster colours and battling on over on the inside, uh, dark disguise. But Southport, hands and heels by this young rider and the grey with the white cap draws away for a good comfortable win number two Southport. Uh, to score his third win in the race and uh, he has beaten uh, uh, Dark Disguise, who appears to have got second on the fence, just ahead of number one, Meticulous. 261 look to be the numbers there. For race number six, the 1200 metre three year old Colts and Gelding, Southport, scoring a comfortable win there. Well, Cass Smith has just decided in Sydney, number two, 190 and 70, number six, Dark Disguise, 170, and number one, Meticulous, 75. 1450 Quinella, trifecta $112.20 for 26 and 1, race 6 at Rose Hill. And in Brisbane, we've got 7, 5 and a dead heat between 8 and 14, so two trifecta dividends there. 7 rush cutter, Peter Cook, 450 and 140, number 5 Toyd, paid 95. And number 8 Cooper's Gold, $1.10, the other dead heat, a sovereign patch, $2.45. 7, 5, a dead heat between 8 and 14. The Quinella $13.55, the trifecta $758, $163.05. This is on the Castlemaine Cup, $758, that trifecta $163.05. And for $7514, $130.45. $75 in the dead heat between 8 and 14. Runners moving in for the next over there, race six at Morpherville. It's over 1,100 metres. And uh, amongst the chances, as we mentioned, uh, number three, uh, John's lad. John Stocker rides this one in the uh, gold with the black hooped uh, red sleeves and uh, the cap uh, to train by Wally Patching over there. It's drawn barrier three. John Stocker aboard number one, Nahima K. Kello in the green with the red collar cuffs and cap prepared by Arthur Mooney. It's showing $2.10 and $2 for number five, Mark Toom, prepared by Peter Hayes in the red, green stripes and cap in barrier four. So there are the chances. John's lad, Mark Toom, Nahima, they're racing. Number 11, Shear Zone, which comes from the Mildura reason, uh, area. Now, and one of the best away, going quickly, John's lad from in second, placing Mac Toom up there with the Cavalier, followed behind them on the inside, running by Courtcraft, who's prominent. Nahima next, followed further back in the field behind those. On the inside by Rough Harmony, and going quickly too along the inside is Trimmer. Back behind those, but wide is Sir Les, forced deep, about six lengths to Marjorie Quision, followed by Tipperary Tim, and three away last of all his evening suit. They're down past the 600 metre mark, and John's lad by a couple to the Cavalier. Mac Toom up third is racing home nicely looking for a way through his sheer zone and they were followed by Nahima in behind those rough harmony trimmer in a bunch with Courtcraft homeward bound John's lad just the leader from Mac Toom coming at him now Courtcraft under pressure the Cavalier was further back followed out wider on the outside by sheer zone Mac Toom goes to the lead of the 200 from John's lad who can't quite go on sheer zone behind those but it's Mac Toom full of running getting close to home and Mac Toom is going to be much too good for them he'll draw away for one of the easiest wins of the day Mac Toom by four or five on the line, nearly a dead heat, the miners, maybe Shears on a nose to John's lad, Court Craft and Sir Les running on, then Trimmer followed further back by Evening Suit, further back then came the Cavalier, followed by Rough Harmony, Nahima Madra Quision, and the last one in was Tipperary Tim. Well, this is Billy Sharp on uh, Mark Toom, prepared by Peter Hayes at Oak Bank, son of Colin, and uh, it's a big win coming up for this horse, uh, racing in the blinkers. Brown Gelding by Taj Rossi and once Sharp settles down and gives this horse a good crack around the behind quarters. Look at him find about four or five lengths. He's raced right away. Look at him spread now at the end of the race and that's uh, a sign of a fair horse when they can open up like that at the, uh, the, the, the business end of, a, of an event. But he's won easily, number five, Mark Toom. It's pretty hard there with the shadows to line them up as they go to the line for the minors. We've got Shear Zone, number 11. And the other one, John's lad, on the inside. Shear Zone is the outside horse. He might just get up and get second ahead of John's lad. But an easy win, at number, uh, win there to number five. And that's Mark Toom. And uh, we're going to check some of the results from uh, the VFL games being played today, of course. This
time of the season. It's uh, most important. Let's have a look at the half-time score. Essendon have a big advantage over Hawthorne. Incidentally, I believe Paul Salmon in the seconds kicked something like 10 goals for Essendon in his first game back. And Essendon 10-7-67, nearly double the score of the Hawks, 5-4-34. Fitzroy and the Sydney Swans, Fitzroy 6-12-48, I've got the upper hand over the Swans on 4-5-29. A good lead to the Tigers, Richmond, 10-9-69, over St Kilda, 5-4-34. Geelong and Footscray, the Cats and the Dogs, and there's nothing in this, only five points, and the Footscray, the Bulldogs, 10-6-78, Geelong on 10-13-73, Philly Pork kicking there. And Colling with the Magpies, 11-10-76, got a nice lead of 24 points over Melbourne, who are on 8-4-52 in that game of the MCG. A good lead there to the Magpies. Now... Watch this race live from Brisbane. They've lined up. Starter about to make his way across to the platform. Rusty's pride, grand numbering close. All set now. Racing, and near the inside, Rusty's Pride came out fast. Black Vintage and Lord Penn began very quickly. Sado Gay showing speed. And Mr. Mischievous is going very fast in the early stages. Kangaroo, Maracaibo Bay, and Sabiske up nice and handy with Meridian Maid. Sado Gay drifting back to midfield on the inside of Ruling Story. Brightman Verdict trapped out a bit wide at the moment. Followed then by uh, Forbidden Favours, who's racing on the outside of Rusty's Pride. Now, Star Halicass is about midfield. Make a trick going up, but a bit wide. And then Divers and Atlanta last. Grand number and Meridian made as they come down the side they've got 800 meters left to go and the leader Mr. Mischievous the length in front Maracaibo Bay second and Kangaroo is a head away third Lord Penn is nicely placed fourth on the rails followed by Sabiske and then Brightman verdict Meridian made over on the inside and then Black Vintage followed by Ruling Story going forward with Soto Gay make a trick is next on the outside further back in the field came Diverson and then Rusty's pride and Atlanta Lass as they straighten up 400 meters to go Mr. Mischievous has taken the lead now he's a length in front. On the outside, Maracaibo Bay. Lord Penn clear at the right time. Then Kangaroo, Sabiske. Ruling Story running on fairly well. And then Brightman Verdict. Lord Penn strolled to the lead at the 200. He shot clear. He's a length and a half in front of Mr. Mischievous. Then Sabiske on the outside. Soto Gay boxing on fairly well. But it's all Lord Penn. And he's streaking away in the run home to win it by five lengths. Lord Penn first. Tight second and third. It's a three-way go. Sabiske, Soto Gay and Black Vintage. Next in Atlanta Lass. Followed home by Rusty Pride Brightman verdict, then Forbidden Favours Kangaroo, Maracaibo Bay, grand number. Well back in the field was Meridian Made, Mr. Mischievous pulled up pretty quickly, Diverson, Star had a cast, uh, well back Leah's Love and then Make It Trick and Ruling Story last of all. Well, a clear cut win there to number three, Lord Penn, ridden by Kay Russell, who uh, is regularly winning races in, in Brisbane, a last start winner at Southport. And Lord Penn, number three, trained on the Gold Coast by Jim Griffiths, charging away from his rivals. The uh, minor placings are very tight. Uh, figuring in that photo will be number eight, Solo Gay. And one, Sir Biscay is there as well, but perhaps uh, we'll leave those, that decision uh, to the judges in Brisbane because there was one sneaking up on the fence as well, the winner. And uh, there's no doubt about that. Number three, Lord Penn. Uh, Roy, we... 2, 15 and 90. Number one, Sir Biscay, 190. And eight, Solo Gal, 305 for 318. The Quinella, 1365. And the trifecta, $252.70. And uh, more results coming up now. Adelaide, over there, race six, Mark Toome, the easy winner, number five, two dollars the win, 85 a place, 11, Shear Zone, 130, three, John's Lad, 75, 985, Quinella, trifecta, 56, 75, 5, 11, three, race six in Adelaide. They're about to go in Sydney, the favourite, Bow Kingdom, 135, number one, as we go to Rose Hill. And the field totals 15. Tulsane behaves perfectly along the rails. Bow Kingdom just sitting back a shade. The chance, they're off. And Shadamenio on the outside, one of the best to begin. Coming out all right was Argent. Pulsane and Fairy Prince with Miss Lucy and Star Dancer didn't jump well. But Silver Lay straight to the lead at the end of 150. Second position taken by Swift Interest. McCluskey third, then Wholesale Boom. On the fence, fifth is Pulsane. One further back, Green Ridge. And then Argent followed by Shadamenio deep. Agabbo Kingdom. And then the Alchemist wanted to quarter further away is Sir Eddick. And then comes Fairy Prince, Miss Lucy Narvik. 
Lake. And last of all is Star Dance, a 9.50 to go. And Silver Lay shows the way three quarters swift interest. Wholesale boom is wide 30, even deeper shadow Medio in company with the Alchemist. A length and a quarter off next is McCluskey, and then comes Green Ridge on the rails, Pulsane. One to Argent, Miss Lucy, Bow Kingdom. A length and a quarter off next is Sir Eddick at Star Dancer. Narvik second last, and Fairy Prince in a tightly packed field is absolute. 600 to go on the Bart Cummings train. Silver Lay's in charge. About three quarters of a length on Swift Interest as they gallop up to approach the home corner. Wholesale boom on a limb third. After one, the Alchemist followed by Pulsane on the inside. A length further back in the field, Fairy Prince going up on the rails from Shadow Minio. Now here's Bow Kingdom getting into the open. They race past the 300. Wholesale boom and Swift Interest grabs Silver Lay. Bow Kingdom battling on under his big weight. Here he comes now. The Alchemist behind it. Bow Kingdom raced up to Wholesale Boom. Bow Kingdom on the outside takes the lead and away goes the favourite and isn't he improved? A big performance by Bow Kingdom to beat Wholesale Boom. Dead Heat third. We've got uh, on the inside McCluskey with the Alchemist. Then Fairy Prince and Shadow Medio followed by Pulsane. A Gap Miss Lucy and Green Red Sir Etigan, And then Star Dancer, Swift Interest, Argent and Silver Lay. And last was Narvik. Yes, he has improved this horse. That's the uh, the bay horse out in the centre there with the, the breastplate and the white and the blue, pale blue colours. Now watch him race up to wholesale boom. They get pretty close, but he's fully wound up. And Quinton keeps this horse going. Uh, 29 starts for 11 wins in 8 seconds. A vastly improved animal, and he races away, savaging the line to win well. Wholesale boom second. And uh, the camera needed to separate McCluskey on the uh, inside and uh, the Alchemist on the outside for third. But a very, very impressive win to Bow Kingdom. Two and five, the extra double over there at Morfordville and Adelaide for two and five. The sub seven and three. And the dividend for the extra two and five, $20.55 in South Australia. The track is Taravos looking for a leading spot. With them, final tally, pushing up on the inside as Fair Grace passed the post the first time, a circuit to go from Waddington Lad. They were followed by Lagana, getting back Colonial Flag with Little Rogue last of all. They clear the home straight and work to the side of the course now. And going past the 2,000 or heading to the 2,000 metre mark and about to pass it now. This leader is Taravos, about a length and a half to Prince of Noradum, now headed up into second placing by final tally. She's working towards the lead. Prince of Noradum settling third, followed by the jumper Waddington Lad, who's showing surprising toe. He's up about fourth and around them improving, followed by Fair Grace. Six lengths Lagana, two or three lengths away Colonial Flag and a half to Little Rogue. There's a bit of speed on as they work to the side of the course now and they're heading towards the 1600 where the leader is Taravos by one length. Little final tally sitting camped second. In in third placing then the jumper Waddington lad from Prince of Noradum followed by Fair Grace two or three lengths Lagana another length and a half further back Colonial Flag and Little Rogue was last of all past the 1400 along the far side Taravos by a couple in second placing final tally three lengths to Prince of Noradum improving around Waddington lad and with them on the rail is Fair Grace as they bunch up going towards the 1200 further back in the field is Lagana it's following Fair Grace and Waddington lad up and about to improve and further back came Colonial Flag within a couple of lengths and on its inside is Little Rogue. They race down the side at the 1,000 metre mark now and Taravos still a couple of lengths in front of Final Tally who's enjoyed a good run. Prince of Noradum is their third and then a length and a half Fair Grace Lagana. Then further back Colonial Flag and Little Rogue and now Waddington Ladder's just about ready to give it away. It's now Final Tally joining Taravos as they go to the 800 metre mark with Final Tally drawing clear. Taravos second, Prince of Noradum joining it and going past it. Taravos has run its race. Then further back Lagana followed by Colonial Flag winding up and they're coming together followed by Fair Grace Little Rogue forget Waddington Lad. She's only tiny final tally but she'll lead them for home by a couple of lengths to Lagana joining Prince of Noradum and Colonial Flag coming at them. Three lengths to Little Rogue. Taravos has spat out the dummy and Fair Grace last with it. Forget about Waddington Lad. Homeward bound she's right up against the aluminium and she cornered well. It's final tally a couple to Lagana. Colonial Flag is...